everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Fortress Of. My name is Oscar. I'll be one of your hosts. And per usual, I am joined with your three other hosts who will now introduce themselves right now. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go first. That's all I'll stay in. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Alex. I'm coming at you live here in Brooklyn, hanging out with the puppy today. Chilling. Soft flex. Soft flex. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Brian. Brian Williams. I can't. How do I follow that, guys? I'm here. I exist. <laughs> I'm coming at you live from not Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> not Brooklyn. Not, not anywhere Brooklyn. near Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is Devin Lee, and I'm somewhere in the state of Virginia. He's in a mountain. He's on a mountain somewhere. It's fine. <laughs> um, outside. He's in space. It um, snowed here, guys. I built a snowman today. Nice. <laughs> You built a whole snowman. No, we ain't, we ain't got no snow. Yeah, I built so. a snowman. It's like the first time I ever made one. Because, like, the snow was, like, it's you know. A in shit your life? A couple days ago for me. Like, I've made, like, shitty ones before. But this is, like, this is one where I make, like, three balls. You know, like, the, the big one at the bottom, the middle size one uh, in the head. Like a proper snowman. Like yep. a proper, yeah, yeah, there's a made. better way you could have described that. But go, go <laughs> on. You tried your best. Yeah, first proper, <laughs> proper snowman. Proper. Anyway. Look at you. Real boy. I'm proud of you. It only took you nearly 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, we're a uh, podcast where we talk about uh, movies and video games and TV and lots of nerdy things and pop culture stuff um, that we all love and enjoy that we hope you enjoy as well. Or else uh, you're just listening to three, four dudes uh, talk about stuff you don't give a crap about, which I appreciate the listen, though. Keep going. What up? <laughs> uh, right at the top. Uh, some of this stuff that we're going to talk about is going to be real old. Why? Don't worry about it. Because we are going to Thanos time stone our asses to you in the present day next week. So yeah, uh, how how you guys all doing? How, how's everyone feeling? This It's it's cold now. It's, it's winter. Very cold. Mm-hmm. It's been cold for mm-hmm. a... It's getting real cold now. It's though. stupid. It snowed yeah, a lot it. a couple days ago. I've yeah. Been trucking yeah. through. I'm kind of excited because cool. I think there's yeah. they're forecasting there's going to be snow on Christmas here too, so that that'll be cool because there'll be snow oh, there wow. already. Wow, you're gonna have a yeah an actual an actual Christmas. white Christmas, so that'd be cool. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe I think I had that like maybe like within the past ten years, but I think only one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. So that's that's your weather forecast for the week, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and bye. Um, all right, guys, we're in a weird looking fortress. It's a fortress full of money. And uh, and full of many children's souls, apparently as well. <laughs> it seems like uh, this week we're uh, we're in the fortress of Disney. Disney, Disney owns us all. Disney owns our lives, <laughs> my our entire souls, life, our the and most of my paycheck. In the world. Yeah, and most of my <laughs> paycheck. <laughs> uh, yeah, this week we we're in the fortress of uh, Disney. Uh, Disney, uh, Disney just they own us. They have everything, and the magical you know, kingdom. Gonna, that mouse, that mouse has got us for the rest of our lives. Like, how is it not a monopoly? Uh-huh. Get Should we there. investigate? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, this week, uh, uh, because of some insane amount of news that came out, mainly out of Disney, uh, this week's will be a little different. We're going to do like a hybrid episode where our news segment basically is our main topic this week. Um, so it's just going to be a real long news segment for everyone listening. Um, and this news is either early on time or very late <laughs> who knows you'll find out when you listen to it <laughs> um but yeah should we jump into the news guys you guys ready let's do it yeah let's do it news, news talk. talk it's news time all right here we go uh so disney uh they own the world at this point at, um, at least all of it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah at least all of the world and uh so they had their 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 investors like conference um some time ago and uh, they just showed that they have all the properties and displayed what they're going to be doing with all of those properties. Major. Star Wars, Marvel. Just flexing just, on Pixar, everybody. Pixar, everything. Like, just, boom. yeah, just like, after HBO Max said, here, this is what we're doing for a year, Disney's like, okay, hold hold my beer. I got this. <laughs> like, I'm going to show you the next five years of everything. So we're going to dive into all of that because um, there's a lot. There's a lot. We probably won't get into all of it. We're not going to most likely talk about uh, Chip and Dale re coming back because <laughs> uh, that'll be la- whatever. It's we're gonna we'll, talk about we'll get, get to the good stuff. We'll we'll get to the it, good yeah, stuff Chip first. And Dale's and see how, not the good stuff. 
I mean, Did you not watch Rescue Rangers? Wait a second. Shut I up. Mean, Come I mean, on, bro. I mean, it could, it could, uh, ch- 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 we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. I was Rangers. always more of a Darkwing Duck kid, so I'm more excited for that, <laughs> mm. but we'll leave it at that. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with all, uh, all the Star Wars stuff. We're going to start with the big Star Wars stuff Ooh. because, uh, Mandalorian Topical. is a show that's happening mm-hmm. currently, or it's already happened, or it will happen in the future. <laughs> uh, and so, <laughs> Uh, we're gonna start with all that, and uh, why not start with the movie? Uh, there, you had one piece of movie news come out of this, and that is uh, uh, Patty Jenkins, who we all know directed the Wonder Woman movie, the two Wonder Woman movies. Um, she is directing the Star Wars Rogue Squadron movie, um, which everyone was really excited about um, because that's uh, it's like a big uh, video game property. It's also like a comic book property, but. Rogue Squadron was also a really big game that people really loved. I never played it. Did any of you guys play Rogue Squadron? That was on the, the GameCube, right? Yeah. Didn't I they just make Rebel a new Strike. version? Is that not called like Rogue Squadron? S- yeah. Maybe? I, like, know, I don't remember. There, I know oh, there, no, was that, a, there was a GameCube That was just game. called Star Wars Squadrons, uh, but the there's like an difference. actual campaign Rogue Squadron. Yeah. But she's already confirmed that she's not like pulling from that. Hmm. It's going to be an original thing. That's nice. Um... So yeah, we're getting Top Gun in space. It yeah. seems like. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 down for that. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I she released like a little like teaser announcement, basically talking about how her dad was a fighter pilot and how she loved to fly and yada yada yada. And it's really cool because like the camera's just holding on her as she talks and she's like getting out into a van. She takes off some fucking old ass rollerblades, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And she changes and she ends up putting like a uh, the the orange jumpsuit mm-hmm. from a uh, that they mm-hmm. wear the fighters wear. And then you see her walking down the tarmac, and there's just an X wing there, and it's like, oh shit, that's pretty fucking dope. What? That's a that's a way to announce that you're directing a movie, right? Yeah, um, I wish I could do that. That's cool, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, good for her, like, cause that that first Wonder Woman, I actually just recently watched it again. The first one, uh, that movie's still solid. Real, it's absolutely. so good, very good. That, yeah, very good up till like maybe the very like the last fifteen minutes or so, mm-hmm. that movie is really really mm-hmm. good. Um, so I'm excited. Um, that's the one that's supposed to be coming out. In 2023, I think that's the day. <laughs> and now I yeah. suddenly care a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. How they, they're it's, not even going to release a trailer. They're going to release, hey, we're going to work, we're going to make a movie about this sometime. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Yeah. Christmas 2023. But be known, she's the first female Star Wars director. I didn't even kind of realize that. That's wow. a, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's crazy. But... It makes sense. It's crazy, though. Yeah. 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 I, I'm excited because it's like, this is what's, you know, Star Wars should have like more movies or shows like this. Like the space battles was such a huge, you know, part of what I loved about it as a kid. And like the fact that they're going to make a movie about it and maybe give us like some good, you know, well thought out space battles. Um, you know, right. unlike anything from uh, the the last movie where it's just a billion ships on each side. It's just like, you know, we're... <laughs> I think honestly rogue one had one yes. of the best space oh battles God. i think in i agree recent star wars so you know? awesome i mean like, that was that a really whole good space movie. battle is rogue awesome so yeah the good. movie's great that that space battle is really cool yeah. so if it's anything like that which it seems like it, it yeah m- may, i'm just because they both have rogue in the title i don't know if it's gonna be the same <laughs> yeah, time period that's or not. Funny. um i wonder how but, what it's how it's gonna like stand out like marketing right it seems like uh you know very similar mm-hmm. but we'll see what mm-hmm. it's about if yeah, we'll see. We don't story. know what's the time period, like per- specifically what the time period is going to be. I would imagine it's still within those thirty years of after Return of the Jedi and before The Force Awakens. So you get like the new, new Republic kind of building up and having their after they won the the Rebels and all mm-hmm. won. So or it's before that. I don't know. We don't know, but yeah, um, it'll be like an origin story for. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. And there's a lot of source material there. Like that sounds cool. So, a- so my gripe kind of like for the whole main series, I'm sorry, I kept cutting you off, Devin. Yeah, no <laughs> the delay is rough. <laughs> but yeah, my, my whole gripe about the main storyline is the amount of space battles that they put in it. When it, I don't know that they the Skywalker saga should be about space battles. So I guess that's kind of why I like things like Road Squadron and uh, Rogue One mm-hmm. is because I think it's a much better opportunity to focus on that aspect Absolutely. without yeah, taking right. away from a story that was supposed to be about Jedi for lack of better i was thinking it's funny right i was just thinking about this earlier today so it's but funny Anakin that we brought this was up. the best fighter pilot the world had ever seen <laughs> and that's whatever he was also kind of an idiot <laughs> he also killed children but let's get over yeah. that <laughs> no, he's redeemed in the end don't get me started yeah so i just I'm, I'm happy to see more focus on this and that's what i'm kind of hoping for what we'll probably end up talking about in this segment as well what will be another focus on uh 
a different aspect of Star Wars that I'm kind of excited about. Personally. Yeah. I mean, they got some they got some stuff that she could pull from because if they do it in the post, well, I mean, this is from the books that some of the books that were written in like the 90s, but there was a or maybe the 2002, but there was one called this guy I think the X-Wing fucking or books, Rogue Squadron. I forgot. That's well, yeah. <laughs> But it was about it was about like you know Wedge and Tilly's after Return of the Jedi and like leading mm-hmm. Rogue Squadron how they were kind of figuring stuff out and then how the Empire like dealt with it. But obviously that's completely different from the the canon now. But they still have a lot they could pull from there. So um, for sure, I mean, and like Star Wars has they've been slowly like taking from that old canon anyways and putting it in anyways. So like they they put a hard stop. None of that's canon. We're starting mm-hmm. over. Blah blah blah. But they've been slowly throwing in these little elements of that stuff anyway. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're they just kind of picking and choosing slowly. Right. And they, uh, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled from any that's of those exciting. books and be like, yeah, we're gonna do this. Pulling the yeah, Dragon yeah. Ball Z. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um. So that's exciting. Uh. Well, three years is a long time. So <laughs> it's it's nothing. But hit me um, up again when it's closer. We have a, we have another Star Wars movie. We 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 didn't know if there or when there would be another Star Wars movie in the near future, but now we know the first uh, one's coming out in three years. Yep, yeah, just stick to the shows. Just stick to shows. It's better. They got, they got a lot more shows coming up. I was about to say, yeah. as they are. Uh, speaking of which, uh, well, the, one of the first of many, many fucking shows they announced was uh, the Ahsoka series, the Ahsoka mm-hmm. Mandalorian spin-off series. Um, you guys aren't all caught up, so we'll we'll spare some of the spoilery yeah, I have details. Not finished the second season of Mandalorian. <laughs> I know, uh, homegirl pops up at some point. Alex, <laughs> that that doesn't mean you haven't finished season two. That that means you barely started season two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that once right. we'll talk about it once we're all caught up in the coming weeks. We'll, we'll, we'll hey, get, listen, we'll get I like the little speaking of the Rogue Squadron. I liked how they popped back up and everything. That was pretty cool. I got that far. I mean, it was that yeah. s- episode two. I hope you got that episode, episode two. two. Alex, got I got that episode two. <laughs> okay, that's as far as I've gotten. So I can't talk with so much shit. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, there, it's a spinoff series from Mandalorian. Ahsoka is not a uh, new character. She's new to a lot of people, though. She was first introduced in the awful, awful Clone Wars movie that oh, came man. out years ago. I think it was like 2004 or five Jeez. or something like that. That right. yep. was a long time ago. <laughs> I remember I was so excited to see it, and it really loved That me. movie's bad, man. That movie sucks. Um, but it was somewhat redeemed. Her character also was somewhat redeemed in the... Like, it sort of became a cult classic, and if a TV show could become a cult classic, um, mm-hmm. of a TV show, the Clone Wars TV show. And, oh, yeah. Um, and uh, that show is great. I, I went back, uh, this was like maybe two, three, four years ago. I went back and watched the rest, because I had watched that first season when it f- was first airing out, and then I just kind of fell off. I never got back to it um, yeah. once the uh, as first season ended. I never started season two. And then I went back and watched it all. And it's like, there's, it's, it's also still a children's show. So there's like some goofiness in there and some droid nonsense that it's like, this is for kids still, obviously, like most Star Wars is. But there's like really good, solid like story arcs in there. And Ahsoka is one, like slowly becomes like one of your favorite mm-hmm. characters. She is, as most people would know, she's, she's Anakin's Padawan. Yeah. She's a Padawan that you never knew existed up until that show. Right. Um, and so, and then she pops up back again. Spoiler: She pops up again in the other Star Wars cartoon, Re- Star Wars Rebels. Mm-hmm. She pops up again in that, and she's had this kind of legacy of being the the. She ties into all of these little Star Wars things. She's uh that um Dave Filoni. He's the guy who created her and this shows. Who also he helped. He had a big hand in Avatar: The Last Airbender, which I did not know. Oh wow! He used really? to work at Nickelodeon, and that's how uh that's how Lucas found him because he was working at Nickelodeon. Oh, wow. He's like, hey, why don't you come do this Star Wars thing for us and see what you got. And that's how we started. I was like, that's that's that incredible. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah honestly, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she's become a massive fan favorite as a character. Um, and she's getting her own live-action spinoff series and uh, played by Rosario Dawson. And I was about to say. Uh, I'm very I, I'm I love very the ca- How do you guys feel about that casting choice? I, yeah. Absolutely I love it. Love I'm, it. I love, love it. Love, love, love it. Who, who is that? What is, uh, what is that actor from? Rosario Dawson. She, uh, she's been a lot of stuff. Um, do you remember? All the Marvel shit. Think, the, most notable thing, yeah, she was like she was the nurse in Dare, in the Daredevil Netflix shows, those Marvel Netflix shows. If you watched any of them, mm, she was in, she was in Rent, the movie. Whoa, <laughs> no way. Uh, no, she's a very she's been in so much actor. stuff, but I can't think of anything. Right now. <laughs> all I can think about Gosh, is her being a nurse and uh, all the 
the Netflix Marvel shows. Yeah, she's she's been. An, I just, honestly can't. I'm drawing a blank. But like, she's absolutely perfect as Ahsoka because like like just like the jawlines of her face, like her facial structure is like exactly like Ahsoka looks in the cartoon, and like just the way like her voice, everything, the way she carried herself. I mean, not to spoil that episode, but I mean, she's um, yeah, she's perfect. I don't think they could have cast it any better. Yeah, I I'm very excited for that show. Um. And we'll get into more. It seems like they're do- they're building their own Netflix Defenders universe on this, on Disney Plus with the Mandalorian. So I think that's what's happening with these three to four mm-hmm. shows. And um, a lot of people are assuming that big bad guy is going to be Admiral mm-hmm. Thrawn, which is a big, a big book character villain that yeah. people love. He also came back in the Star Wars Rebels yeah. cartoon. He became the big bad of that show. Um, he's a great character, and uh, that's what most people are um, speculating is going to be the big, big bad right. of of these these shows cool. coming up next year. That is n- not what I expected Admiral Thrawn to look like. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The big blue guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't ring a bell. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, I he's a big, big, big blue dude. Oh, okay. Uh, he's basically yeah. He's like a yeah. He's just a very tactical, calculated dude. And he always he's like always one step ahead type of guy. His name you know? is actually Mithra Neru Neru. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gonna be pissed at me if they're <laughs> not a Star Wars fan. But yeah. I don't I don't know how to read that. DM Brian, don't I don't want to hear Mithra Neru. <laughs> better known as his core name Thrawn. Oh. Yeah. Um a lot of people have been wanting Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange oh, to play him. Please. We'll oh, see. Wow. That's not bad casting. That's not bad casting at That'd all. That'd be good. But like I could see it. He gets so much damn work already, man. Yeah, let somebody else do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. They're starting to in, uh, introduce some uh, some of the races from like the old republic and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like yeah. that. That's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, that's it, it. Yeah, they're definitely like they're not going to admit that they're pulling from these things that are non canonical, but they're pulling from them. <laughs> and, and, like I could see them pulling from the games too. Like it's all it's all there. I mean, nice old republic's canon now. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly right. right. So. I just hope they stay with all these shows that are kind of vaguely after Return of the Jedi. I hope they keep them very much in like the Rebels versus the Empire kind of era rather than transitioning to like all the bullshit from the sequels. Because I heard that they're like potentially thinking about overwriting the sequels, like using one of those episodes from I think the Rebels show where they they had like some alternate realities thing and maybe using that mm-hmm. to over to it's redo possible. them. And that, and if they did that, oh. and they like put Filoni at the helm, and like, you know, actually made some good movies, then it opens up so many options for these shows too to like change the story and make it in some into something better. Devin's already thinking about remaking the movies Dude, that came hey, out I last just, year. That came out like two I years. Heard, like, uh, literally last year. I heard, they're, talk, I heard they talk, they're talking about it. I heard they're talking about it because it's they were so the sequels were so. I bad. mean, it's not like. I mean, Star Wars is, they've already like retcon stuff in other, like J.J. Abrams retcon like midi chlorians and blew up Coruscant. And that was like in that first the midi chlorians thing. So was, it's like, it was okay to, to retcon. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. We all understand. We all agree the sequels were a mess. And I think if they're having those conversations and they're seeing how well these shows are doing with, you know, people like John Favreau and, and Filoni at, the, at, at like in, in charge of them, and then you could make the shows overlap yeah. with the, with the movies kind of like they did with like, you know, Marvel did with like agents of shield and, and some of that stuff. Just do it. Like right, why right. there's no downside. All the fans that you, that hated the sequels would be on board like myself. And like, you can just, and you can, you can, you know, you can still honor the other ones and say, Oh yeah, that's just like an alternate timeline. And then just do it right. Like, you know, do the original characters justice, like Luke, Leia, Han, you know, on, like honor the original, like actually do it the right way instead of, the way they chose to do it. With the you sequels. are not about to get Han Solo on that set of fucking. No, that man no, no, does no, not no, want no. to work on him. Back. Too, no. Harrison Don't Ford hates Star Wars. He's done with Star Wars. He's never coming. <laughs> Last back. time he got on a Star Wars set, he broke his fucking ankle. That man ain't walking <laughs> on no damn set anymore. <laughs> Last time he talked bad about Star Wars, Star Wars beat him up <laughs> and literally broke his leg. But I'd rather, I'd rather them just not even like be there at all. Like if it's if. Like, I don't know. I'd rather them, if they redo it, to just do it in a way where, like, oh, you know, like maybe give them like little cameo, but not to like be part of the actual show. I don't show. know. I think the future of Star Wars is TV. Like, they're doing it so with too. Mandalorian. I think they could just continue doing these mini series, right, basically. Yeah, right. And just like, that's the, and the just future. Stay, I'm, like, I'm and and the movies with... could be like a Rogue Squadron or just something that's like out there right. and not pertaining but to just this stay, main stay universe. Stay in the Rebels thing. versus Empire era because we all know that's like the golden empire, the golden era of Star Wars. They're going to run, I mean, they have whatever amount of time, whatever, but like 
They only have 30 years, but they could do I, I guess they, they could do it for I want to go the opposite direction. I want them to go more than Knights of the Old Republic place. Ooh, I, I want yeah. to see more would, yeah. of the era where Jedi still exists, you know? I think yeah. that's the most yeah, interesting. I want speedy, speedy lightsaber fights yes. again. Yeah, yes. I think that's the most interesting part of Star Wars for me personally. Uh, yeah. And I that's why I'm so a mad. of interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think that's right. what I don't like about the sequels. I'm tired of, oh, there's only three Jedi left. Yeah. Now there's only two. Yeah. Right. Now there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want back when there were 600 of those motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> like having right. a big old, that's what like, I think is open cool. battle between the Sith and the Jedi. That'd be so cool. Yeah. So and hopefully like at some point they'll visit that some more. Oh, I was gonna say, get like whoever choreographed the uh, the cinematic trailers for Knights of the Old Republic, get that person <laughs> right. to make some fights, okay? Yeah. And like, you know, what yeah. it'd be well, I don't know, it'd be cool also to like have somebody to actually like a sword master and actually think about the tactics of like if you were fighting with with a weapon that you could just like turn off and then turn back on, like how would people <laughs> actually fight with those things? Because a lot of times, I feel like a lot of it would just he, be he like, wants someone to do something with that so bad. Well, that's what they always say is like, why doesn't, why don't the, the Jedi or the Sith like turn each other, the other person's lightsaber off mid swing yeah. so they don't just cut yeah. them in half. And they were, but like, that's what they always say is like a Jedi, a part of a Jedi's mind is always focused on keeping his lightsaber on at mm. all times. Like a portion of his brain and his force power is always making sure that it's on so that the Sith don't like in mid swing, turn it off and then he gets cut in half or yeah. something. Or you can yeah. do that when you turn your own thing off. You can fake a parry and then actually yeah, just exactly. fucking tap him up. Just like and, turn know, it off and then right. not take that yeah. contact and then just slice him. And get then right dodge, by him, so. yeah. Like I'd, I'd like to see somebody that yeah, actually yeah. knows how like sword combat works to actually like choreograph that, and like see that. In... No, I want Star Wars Episode Three back where they're just fucking swinging. That's the best and, and feigning That's over and over fight. again for thirty minutes. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Get mad. I don't care. That's the best fight. That's, That's the best fight. They had like a trick contest. They did. <laughs> There's literally a time where they're spinning and don't make yeah. contact. <laughs> like, oh yeah, watch like this. Four yeah. seconds straight. Yeah. It's because they knew each other's moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm it's not a game of it. chess. I'm not mad at it. That, that shit was cool. Oh. Stuff. It was but awesome yeah, as hell. I totally oh, agree yeah. with you, Brian. Like Knights of the Old Republic era would be so electric, but it would just make every other like Star Wars era just look like complete garbage. Like, which we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's a that's another story along the line. We'll get to it. Um. But uh, yeah, so uh, another spinoff series that we've known about, but they just sh- told, told us more about it, is um, the Rogue One movie spinoff series based on uh, Diego Luna's character, Cassian mm-hmm. Andor. Uh, the series is going to just be called Star Wars Andor. It's a prequel to, obviously, because ro- spo- uh, spoilers for Rogue One, he uh, gets obliterated <laughs> on the planet. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe you by know. Giant hey, there, was, there was just a lot of white light. You never know. He's dead. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here. They pulled a walking dead. They pulled a Glenn. He made it out. Uh, Are you kidding? Devin's calling it now. At the end of this first season, it'll flash forward to the end of that movie. <laughs> They're going to rack on the you movie. See, They're going to write it, over his, it. His hand opens up in the... Uh, right. In the, in the oh man, the people, like, they put him oh in a uh, Darth Vader suit. Yeah. <laughs> um, they didn't show any trailer footage of this, but they just showed like a behind behind the scenes clip of them like shooting, and it's like they have built built real sets and costumes. It looks cool. I'm excited because uh, I like that character in that movie. Um, and also because at the beginning of that movie, he just straight yes, up murders a yes. dude. Yes. So he's not like the best dude in the world, no, I would imagine. That's he's what, like the show could be of, so awesome, you know, like just that dark, gritty like oh, yeah. side of the war, like espionage and stuff like that. That could be yeah. so awesome. And I hope they bring back like the smuggler shit, you know, make that empire. Because what Rogue One did a really good job of is making the empire look like this unbeatable enemy that like they just got yeah. everything. And the Death Star was so scary. Like, just bring that back. Bring that empire, you know, that like that really intimidating empire back in this show. I love I love it. Right. I think they're also bringing back the droid, um, K2SO, the big, big mm-hmm. um, Imperial droid that oh, came with him. Cool. I think they're going to bring him back. So that's cool because oh, nice. he, was, he was awesome yeah, in that, that movie. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so many shows. Um, <laughs> so, much, so much content they're just unleashing on the mm-hmm. world. Um, and then, so after that, this, this next story might be the one I'm looking forward to because I love an underdog story. Uh, Hayden Christensen is going to be in the Obi-Wan yes. Kenobi mm-hmm. series as Vader. I am I'm so excited for this. I'm hyped. I am so excited. <laughs> I'm a Hayden like, Christensen fan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna work. Like is he gonna like pop his mask off sometimes yeah. so we get that close up beauty shot of him? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, gonna be I, the whole time and it's all maybe voiceover. there's some flashback. I wouldn't mind seeing like some flashback to to mm-hmm. things we didn't see in the Clone Wars mm-hmm. That's or, what I was or assuming. Revenge of the Sith. That'll be some flashback. But they said he's coming back as Vader, which is why it's interesting. They didn't say he's yeah, coming back true. as Anakin. They said he's coming back as Vader. So I was like, 
You could have had anyone in that suit. I mean, it's cool yeah. that he's coming back, but it, it is interesting. It makes you think that there's going to be a little more to it than just mm. that. Because they didn't even um, use uh, Hayden's vo- Christensen's voice when he was in no. the, the Vader suit for the first time. It was time James Earl Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, uh, like, no one's ever heard uh, Hayden Christensen as, like, a Vader Vader. I mean, he, right. he was Darth Vader before he was in the suit for, like, a short time, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. When he was killing but, younglings. It is yeah. interesting. Like, you can't make a whole series about ki- killing younglings. That's the whole show. <laughs> it's just an animated series of him killing a bunch of children Jeez, every episode. Like, <laughs> live action. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's like every Anakin meme is just about uh, killing kids. Like, it's horrible. It's true. I saw one uh, the other day uh, where he's sitting at the table in episode two when he's having dinner with Padme, except his dinner is that little boy laying on his side. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, the fo- and the two forks are, li- are little lightsabers. I was like, geez. It's just too easy to meme because of the... the we make fun a lot of, like, about a lot of things like Game of Thrones and how that progression felt too fast. But the progression of being just normal Anakin to becoming Darth Vader... In an hour and forty five minute movie is so goofy. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid what? to try to make him do no that. Way. Absolutely, that, that wasn't a, an hour. And a, that was three. He was like progressing since since the it, beginning. He was always being a little bit angrier and showing kind of like signs of oh he might not be ready. But he went from being like I want to save my wife to I'm ready to kill small children. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that that was turn, two different scenes next yeah. to each other. That turn happens very quickly. I, I, from I guess killing that, that specifically. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, he 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 was always a. Uh, he was always a bad seed. And like, I, I don't, I don't, I feel, I feel for him because it's like, he was like a new coming actor yeah. and oh, everyone yeah. like notoriously George Lucas is not a very good mm-hmm. director of mm-hmm. actors. He's not a very good writer. Some would say either. So he's like, <laughs> has to have this really terrible dialogue by oh, a dude God. that doesn't know how to direct him. And he's a young actor. And it's just like, I, I, I feel for him. And so I'm, I'm, I'm happy he gets a chance to kind of come back and, and show and that's that, one of those things yeah. that kind of bother me about it too. Cause it's like, I think we're just, I'm, Maybe it's because we're looking at other art and other like media and comparing it to that. But when you compare it to Star Wars, Mark Hamill wasn't exactly you know acting over the world oh, yeah. like right. in in the the first movies. So I'm like, why are we mad at Hayden Christensen for not doing a very good job? Mark Hamill sounds yeah. dumb as fuck in those movies. I still love <laughs> that. Yeah, so. But <laughs> I mean, Harrison Ford has that that famous quote where he told George or he talks about Star Wars. He's like, uh, "You can write this shit, but you sure as hell can't say it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because even he knew back then that the dialogue is just it's it's not yeah. great. It's it's yeah. It's, yeah. Lucas is a good universe builder. He's not a good not a good writer. But here's here's my question. Here's my question with uh, the Obi Wan show. What the fuck is it going to be about? Like we all know that Obi Wan <laughs> him sitting on the desert for what, three okay? episodes. Like, who wants and then to watch he'll be that? in the desert for another five who? episodes. Oh, no. Like what That's is he going to do? Like the whole po- the whole. I'm hoping. I would imagine he's going to go off planet yeah, at one point. Yeah, like he's going to yeah. leave Tatooine and he's going to have a mini adventure. Type yeah. Of thing. Oh, it's going to be My side hope was missions. that it would be about Darth Maul coming True. back because we all know Darth Maul comes back. Oh, yeah. Canon. That would he's be really come cool. back. But unfortunately, they already did that story in the Star right, Wars Rebels right, show. Right, exactly. And it, I was like, oh, as soon as it happened, I was bummed because like this could have been the perfect Obi Wan. At that point, it was a, they were planning on the movie. But they could, they could just make that into right. the show. So it's like, how, like, what? I just don't know what the substance of the show is going to be because, like, they already have like in yeah. comics and things they've already shown like that he basically like I don't know like he gave up after you know like the right. end of Return of the of, 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 like Revenge of the Sith he literally just goes and hides in that hut until he kills Darth Maul and that's it <laughs> like he stays there the whole time <laughs> right up, up, until now so I don't know I just don't know how they're gonna make it an interesting show I mean. Yeah, I'm excited because uh, Obi Wan's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, yeah. character in the Star Wars world. Yes. Um, and so, and I like uh, Ewan McGregor. I think he's great. I think he's one of the best parts of those prequels Absolutely. as Obi Wan. Yeah. Um, and so I'm ex- I'm excited. I w- I've been excited. This is the one series slash movie when there was a movie before that I wanted out of out of Star Wars to come like spinoff. So I'm yeah. excited. This just makes me more excited. Yeah, I want to watch Revenge of the Sith again. Not the only, <laughs> only that one. Just just the last like twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, can't do two at one anymore. Those movies fucking suck. But <laughs> right, those, those are a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah, a lot harder. I guess. Um, <laughs> all right, our our next t- oh, Jesus, the next TV show we got from Star Wars. Uh, we were getting a Lando Lando Calrissian series. Um, we don't have confirmation that Childish Gambino slash Donald Glover is coming back, but I would imagine he is. I wouldn't imagine they're gonna cast another Lando. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also just, this is an event series they're calling. So I'm assuming it's just going to be one season and done one little Lando adventure. And that's it. Um, mm. we don't know anything else about it. Uh, it's just, other than that, it's happening at some point. Um, that would, this is that cool. Would be Did cool. You guys saw, um, 
Solo, the yeah, 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 Solo yeah, movie. It was a, it was a movie. It was a cool part. I of thought the it was movie. fun. Everyone it was hated it. I thought it was I fine for a yeah, movie. It was okay. I, I thought it was. Yeah, I didn't think it was as bad as it was. I thought it was a fine movie. I don't think it was a great Star Wars. movie. It was above the bar. Um, if it was under any other label, I feel like I'd have been like, "Oh, this is a, this is a fun like science fiction adventure yeah. movie." But knowing that it was Star Wars made it feel kind of weird to me. Yeah. Also, mm. I don't hot take. I don't give a single fuck about Lando Calrissian. Han Solo. <laughs> no, Henry oh, Lando. Man. I care more about Han Solo than I do Lando. I don't think Lando is a very That's interesting fair, character. Yeah. Billy I like Williams. Lando because he just, it's cool. especially in that in that movie, he just wants to fuck everything. <laughs> oh, I mean, I love my boy uh, Donald Glover. I can't even Billy D. Williams was like trying to hit on Princess Leia in front of Han <laughs> yeah. in that in the uh, Empire, and it's like, damn, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and he rocks them capes, man. Yeah, no, Lando, he's got them little capes. Lando is just a piece of shit in the original movies, and then in Lando, he was just childish Gambino. Yeah, which, he's also for him getting that role. That's fucking dope. But he was good. Yeah, yeah. he was fine. Um, yeah. Um, so this this will be fun. It'll be it'll be something. Um, I'll watch yeah. it. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see it, especially if it's one season. That sounds nice. I wish more yeah. shows would hop on to just like just end. Keeping, keeping yeah, it, yeah, keeping it. <laughs> I yeah. agree. I love I agree. shows that end. And they're yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, our next our next show. Um, this is a spinoff of a cartoon now. So we have uh, Star Wars: The Bad Batch, which mm-hmm. is a spinoff of the Clone Wars series. Where it's uh in the in the final season of Clone Wars, um you're introduced to this group of clones called the Bad Batch, and they're literally called the Bad Batch because they're a bad batch of clones. They didn't come out perfectly, so they don't look the same. They all have act differently. They're all weird. So, um, and but they they so they they suit them up together and they send them on missions basically. And it looks like yeah. that's what this is, series is, this, is about. Is this, not this, this whole thing based on the Xbox video game Republic Commando. They definitely, they definitely <laughs> oh, took from not, that. Oh, maybe not, not on purpose, <laughs> but... but that's from, that's what Republic Commando is. I mean, to that me, game is awesome. Oh. By the way, I would definitely recommend it. When I watched those Bad Batch <laughs> episodes, I remember that game. Yeah. In uh, in in Clone Wars, when I saw those Bad Batch episodes, I was like, "All right, Filoni, you saw you played Halo Reach once. Like, good job. Like, all right." <laughs> <laughs> because because they were like I forgot that's what Halo Reach is based on yeah and they're like and they're way better than the regular clones like the regular clones are just getting mowed down by the droids like every single battle and these bad batch guys come in and just kill an entire army of droids like immediately like, they're oh, awesome I'll like, give them yeah, that y- y'all need dope. more bad but clones no, I'm actually I wasn't I didn't think I was gonna be excited about it but then when I saw the trailer I was like this is this is pretty yeah. cool I'm definitely yeah. gonna watch this yeah, and that one dude is a hundred percent looks like Rambo, which is hilarious. He's even got like a red bandana and everything. I was like, did they just straight up say, "All right, this is guys Rambo now"? <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's also like if you go back and watch like the very first episode of Clone Wars, and then go back to the final season of Clone Wars, man, did they put their money into that last season? If not even that last season, those last mm-hmm. four episodes of Clone Wars, it looks yeah. amazing. And like this trailer, the animation, it just they they've improved and yeah. so much. Yeah. And like, yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. You also. Um, get a cameo in this trailer of a character from The Mandalorian. Um, in season one, do you remember there's that one sniper assassin mm-hmm. that Mando oh, yeah. encounters? You see a character that looks like her and they're wearing a similar helmet. And so a lot of people have been saying that that's her. And so you might get her nice. in this show in some way or capacity. Um, yeah, I mean, she had potential to be cool. Yeah, and the interconnecting all of these things in various ways. Um, it looks cool. I'll watch yeah, it when it comes that's out. That's what happens once you get when Disney gets its hands on everything. You know, they're trying to make universes and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything yeah. has continuity. They must right. have some yep. really intense spreadsheets. I'm excited for this one because it's, <laughs> it looks like it's going to deal with like the immediate takeover, at, like the immediate after fact uh, aftermath of um, Revenge of the Sith. And I don't like even Rebels and Rogue One. They were kind of more you know farther ahead where it was already the Empire. And uh, Rebels got into it a little bit, but I really think that this show is going to be like immediately after and kind of show you how the Emperor consolidated power right. and dealt with like the, re- you know, the last resistances and stuff like that. So I think that'll be really cool to see. And that like... And how like what, the cl- what happens to the clones because yeah, like exactly. he gets rid of the clones in, in some capacity at some right, point. So right. we might see right. that I wonder if they'll well. fight like any, you know, leftover Jedi and stuff like that. Like maybe they'll go with Darth Vader to, ki- to hunt down some last Jedi. That would be kind of cool to see, so... That would be interesting. Yeah. It would be interesting to see them if, like, because they're on the bad side, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting if they're like, if there's a reversal and they change a heart type of thing, or or what's going to happen with that. Yeah. They might die then. <laughs> they probably will. That would be cool. Pull a rogue one and just <laughs> yep. end it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be. Yeah, I'd be all for that. Um, next, this is uh where we get into the High Republic that you guys were talking about in the Old Republic era. Um, the new series that we don't know like really anything about called the Acolyte. Uh, almost choked and died. Sorry. 
<laughs> called the Acolyte. Um, it's uh, 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 only, uh, only thing we really know. It's from the creator of the sh- uh, show Russian Doll on Netflix, which I've never seen. I hear it's good though. It's quite a good show. I, I, it does, is it does not translate well to Star Wars, <laughs> but it's a really good show. <laughs> right. All the same, so would recommend it if anyone's ever looking for something that for Groundhog Day, but better. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, and all we know is that it's set in the High Republic era. Mm-hmm. Um, which a lot of people have been speculating means maybe this is about a Darth Plagueis. Ooh. And we'll see, because we'll finally get a Darth Plagueis story and then maybe an intro to Baby C- Sidious or some crap. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we don't know much, but uh, it's we're getting... This could be our Old Republic. Yeah, yeah. I sure fucking hope so. That would be really dope. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to see that. I think that sounds... Just open that door. Is the High Republic the same as the Old Republic, though? I don't know. I would imagine they're similar. I think it I sounds like they're two know. different eras. I'm going to do some quick reading. It's a long ways away. <laughs> do we know anything about this movie being live action? This is a live action series, I believe. A series, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah live action Disney Plus series. I just want to see more lightsabers, bro. Yeah, uh... I, and if it's gonna be in the area where it's everyone bunch already of Jedi has Knights, one. then <laughs> so that's just another one that we we heard about, and it's like okay, you're just you're just you're just throwing everything out at the wall at this <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, so like what? That's coming oh, out yeah. twenty thirty. Yeah. Am I gonna be alive by then? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now the right. question, my question is: Is Filoni and or like John Favreau are they? Do they have somebody in charge of like quality control, like a Kevin Feige at Marvel, or are all of these just kind of gonna be able to do their own thing? Because if that's the case, I think then this is gonna be a mess. Kathleen Kennedy is like the gatekeeper. Oh God! Well, yeah, she's like the big, big, big ball. But is that? She, yeah, she and, does. She uh, have that role for the shows, or is just that? Is that just for the movies? I mean, I'm, and she has it for all of Star Wars. Ugh, I, she yeah. was, she was like involved. Like she, like John Favreau created Mandalorian, but like she was involved in that. I think it's fine. She, I don't blame her for all of the stuff. I do. It's fine. <laughs> I blame her 100%. That's stupid. You're stupid. You're I blame stupid. Her. You, you blame I her. put all the blame on her. J.J. Abrams and, and Ryan Johnson's <laughs> issues were between them. Now you have nothing to do with her. We're not talking about that. We're moving on. <laughs> okay, so uh, l- l- last, last note. I just found out the Old Republic was thousands of years ago, and the High mm. Republic was 200 years before the prequel trilogy. Ah. Uh. Nice. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. So two hundred yeah. years would kind of make a sense for like Darth Plagueis. For Darth and, Plagueis. Um, yeah. There you Emperor, go. Potentially. I guess he'd be like right. old as hell though, but who knows? Yeah. If it's at like the we'll end see. of the High High Republic, or maybe a lot. La- I guess it lasted for about that long. <laughs> right. <laughs> who knows? Um, I'm excited if they if it's awesome lightsaber battle type stuff and cool yeah, shit like that. Absolutely. That'd be cool. That sounds more totally. my speed. Yeah. Um, all right, our final. We finally made it. <laughs> We're at the final Star Wars uh, story. Uh, and it's an anime. Um, they are doing their very first anime. It's called Star Wars Visions. It's going to be a series of anime short films, a la The Animatrix, um, coming from a d- bunch of different creators. Um, so we don't really know what they're specifically, but um, it's interesting. Um, they're very just, cool. again, chucking everything out there and just like, hey, we're going to do this random thing, do this random thing. You, you know what you don't need to do? You don't need to mix that awful gatekeeping of Star Wars nerds with the awful gatekeeping of anime nerds yeah. and then oh, trying no. to put that shit together. That sounds like the worst cesspool of neck beards I've ever seen before in my life. Oh, God. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be great. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll yeah, be fun. it'll be. This one I'm least probably the least excited about just because it's I, we don't know anything about it. I'm like, eh. It's got a lot of potential. Okay. Yeah. So it it's got potential. Be it's yeah. got potential. It could be the low-key best thing. I'm excited for awesome some like potentially non-canon Star Wars stories on on screen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If, is Maybe. it? Is this all canon? I'm guessing. Except I would imagine they're just gonna say this is all canon. And they're gonna keep very yeah close watch on. Well, the short so the short no films one's... sound the the furthest away, so maybe they'll be right. like very uh, abstract right. or something. That sounds really cool. <laughs> right. Um. That's the last like big one. There's also like they're doing a Star Wars. C3PO and R2D2 show called Droids or something like that, but it's just... <laughs> sure, yeah, it's, it's just more Star Wars. No, no, no thank you. That's another. Yeah, <laughs> I'm that's sorry, so much, like, too much, too much. Won't watch it. Yeah, as a buddy it's cop more... show, like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, there's probably yeah. even less uh, lightsabers in that one. But <laughs> those are the big hitters that we we heard about. <laughs> so, uh, all right, we're done with Star Wars. We are moving on to Disney's next uh, monopoly, uh, Marvel. <laughs> 
which they also threw the, the, the everything out for us to consume. But since we are definitely going to do episodes on WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Loki uh, very soon, we are going to skip those trailers for now and uh, move on to the next trailer, which is for What If. I am super excited for this show. Um, basically, the premise is, premise is What If. It's it's based off like the, the Marvel comic What If, where they just said, what if these random stories about like anything could happen so like and you can see in the trailer you see like um Haley atwell's character i can't remember uh agent carter she becomes captain britain it looks like and she gets the super soldier serum instead of steve rogers you oh, get wow. what happened what if uh t'challa got sucked up and became star lord instead of peter quill so <laughs> and th- it's gonna be really sad because this is the last noted um performance of Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. He did the voice work apparently for this already. Oh, shit. So that's going to that's gonna be sad um, whenever that comes out. But it's going to be kind of cool to see him one last mm-hmm. time. It's like Princess Leia. Um, or hear him. Yeah. And then that's the end of the trailer. So we we got all the footage out of the way pretty much. Now we just have more news stories I talked about. So um, they've already t- talked about this. They did the, uh, they're, they're doing a She-Hulk series. Um, but now they just actually officially announced the cast. So we know that. Did you guys ever see the show? Um. Orphan Black. I saw a little that? bit of it. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it. I heard it was okay. Uh, yeah, um, but the main the main actor in that she is going to be She Hulk. Um, nice. The w- main question is: Is she going to be CG like how a Hulk was at the end of Endgame mm-hmm. or all of Endgame, where he's like Smart Hulk? Because that's <laughs> from what I know, She Hulk stays green the whole time. Uh-huh. She doesn't. She doesn't change back and forth. Right. So I wonder how they're going to handle that. Are they gonna? But she's not like like hulked out a Mormon. She just looks like a seven foot green woman, basically. So I don't know if they're going to CG her or if they're just going to paint her green. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, don't do the we paint know. job that they do for, uh, what's her face from Guardians of the Galaxy. Gamora. We're not. <laughs> Gamora looks I know you so lame. I, she looks so flat, I don't mind. Dude. I think she looks fine. <laughs> I disagree wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look flat. What are you talking about? I like think the... her makeup is awful. And the... Really? Yeah, I think it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, we've never agreed on that, but that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so that'll be, uh, we know that um, Mark Ruffalo is coming back as the Hulk. So we'll get to see Hulk. I'm assuming he'll be Smart Hulk. So we'll have CG Hulk in there hanging out with her. And then um, we know that the villain from, this is, a, this is weird, the villain from the Edward Norton Hulk, which is technically in the MCU, the Abomination, the big one before Mark Ruffalo came on, that villain is coming back as well in this show so they're oh, it's cool that they're bringing back the old people from what was still the mcu but obviously not mark ruffalo but it'll be interesting is he going to be a giant abomination still did he get small again i don't know how that works right so um that and then the other cool thing that is rumored at this point but people are hoping is that we'll see um charlie cox's netflix daredevil make a cameo in the show as well because um she hulk's a lawyer um, and so maybe there'll be oh, a, like a, a little lawyer off between her and daredevil that's cool. it'd be kind of cool i heard people really like that show yeah and uh I like that actor as well so it looks like he's gonna get another shot at being properly in the mcu because we all know that those netflix shows they say they connected but they they didn't fucking matter <laughs> <Yeah. really. laughs> the rest of the, rest of the right. universe so yeah it'll be cool to see him come back if he comes back they haven't tapped uh, luke cage back for anything yet though he's kind of pissed about it Mm. I I would I I would I would love to see all of those characters come back, but I think they're probably mm. like let's take our time. People might need a breather. I, I don't, I don't want uh what's his face anymore? Kung Fu Kung Fu White yeah. Boy. I just want a good <laughs> Iron Fist. <laughs> I think Iron Fist was the weakest of those shows by far. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, definitely. I just I wish he was better. <laughs> he should be so much better. Um, yeah. So that's She Hulk stuff. Um, this is the next big one. This is kind of because tie into a lot of stuff. Uh, Doctor Strange two. Confirmed that we'll connect to the Spider-Man 3 movie, the Tom Holland 3, as well as the WandaVision show. But Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider-Man 3. Um, he's going to seemingly take over the mentor role that Tony Stark was at for Spider-Man oh, first. Wow. And so he's going to be, which is weird because Doctor Strange doesn't give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. He's, <laughs> like, so he's got no time. He's going to be an interesting mentor. Right. <laughs> wow. I guess they're, they're both like smart as hell, so maybe they'll um, connect on that, that level first. Right. And they had a little bit of connection in Infinity War because when it was the three of them, Iron Man, um, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange. So it's like they've met. Yeah, and so, that's right. And they, uh, him and Iron Man had the same hair and beard, so it's fine. <laughs> that's easy <laughs> for the same him. person. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they met. So basically he's going to be his lifelong teacher and father figure because they right. met one Dad? time. 
When? Like <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben? It's gonna be tough. It's no, oh, no. <laughs> Multiverse is gonna be such a crazy movie. Like I hope they land the plane because it could be it could be such a mess if they do it poorly. But like, when did they when did they yeah. decide that for Spider Man three they're like yeah we're just gonna get the other two versions of Spider Man in here and William Defoe? We're just back. gonna we're gonna make into the Spider Verse. Yeah, I heard about that. That's gonna be really wild. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what I was about to bring up. So basically, what we've rumored slash also confirmed i can't remember specifics for each of them we're having doc ock from spider-man 2 come back alfred molina we're having jamie fox from amazing spider-man 2 come back as electro uh and then we're getting toby Maguire and andrew garfield rumored to be coming back in this third spider-man movie as well they're basically making into the spider-verse live action at this point man and i'm all for it i'm excited if, to get if just the moment that they release a trailer and you get the shot of all three spider-man standing side by side by side it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. I don't like, even. So, I don't even yeah. like Andrew Garfield. And I'm so yeah. excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> With He's that man easily gonna be head. the least, the least uh, screen time Spider Man. They could just do Tobey Maguire. It'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think they also said Emma Stone is coming back. Um, mm. And so, or no, maybe not her. They did say. Um, I think uh, Kirsten Dunst is coming back as Mary Jane, though. Oh, nice. So it's like they're just like, I'm excited because we. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, we almost got Spider Man Four. For with Tobey Maguire way back when and then it was very quickly scrapped and cancelled and then that's when we got the reboot with Andrew Garfield oh so, yeah yeah um, yeah because yeah, they were going to do it I think they were going to make I think they were going to make Mysterio the bad guy in 4 which is funny because they ended up doing that in the, in the recent oh, Spider-Man wow. um, yeah, they just kind of dropped everything with that and started yeah building. that was mm-hmm. in production like they were getting ready and then it was like nope we're done <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> start over again fuck it yeah, so like they're just making a multiverse movie at this point, and slash a Sinister Six movie. It looks like I don't know what other villains they're gonna bring in. Oh wow! Um, but I'm excited because uh, I liked I like Doc Ock in Spider Man Two. He's yeah, probably my he's favorite villain besides ma- him and Mysterio and Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio in that recent Spider Man. Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio is real good. Yeah, this Spider Man Three movie, and if this is I don't know because we don't know exactly what Sony's plans are with Tom Holland after this. So this might, for all we know, be Tom Holland's last Spider-Man movie. I can't imagine it is, but it might be Tom Holland's last like MCU Spider-Man movie. Wow. A- after this, Sony might be like, no, that boy's ours. That boy's ours. You, <laughs> you don't get to play with him anymore. <laughs> that, that little boy's ours. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if, if, if it is, yeah, just throw, go out with a bang and just, just do it all. After th- uh, the only thing they could add to it is Miles Morales, basically. That's right. the only mm-hmm. thing they yeah. could add to this. If they chuck him in there, but only in uh, Enter the Spider Verse form, only yeah, in CG. He's in two D. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want him live. Maybe, action. Yeah, maybe they it. can flip through the TV and he'll be on That'd Roger be Rabbit cool. style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, I like all that connection. But yeah, Devin, you're right, Devin. Where it's like, I hope they can they can nail it with the multiverse stuff. Uh, it's we'll, just gonna we'll it's gonna get oh, a little bit crazy. That's the- <laughs> like yeah. I'm scared it's gonna have the exact same issue as Amazing Spider-Man Two, where it's just gonna be too fucking messy because there's too much trying to go on at once. You mean Spider-Man? If 3? this movie were three hours long, like an Endgame, I'd be just, totally fine with it. It's right. funny how they're escalating their own idea. Like you know, like at first we were, all, it was crazy when Avengers was even a thing. It's like, oh my god, they got these A-list actors from these four different movies together in one movie, and now it's <laughs> like we got to pull from like the other versions of the character, and then so eventually, what I'm saying is basically it's inevitable that there's gonna be a Star Wars. Uh, Marvel crossover at some point live action. They're just all gonna get in one movie, <laughs> like uh, like a. It's gonna get so meta that George Lucas is gonna be a Jedi <laughs> in there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna cross over everything right. at some point. It'll be like Fortnite or um, a Lego movie or something like. Uh, everybody's. Oh on, God, on Fortnite is oh, yeah. God, disgusting Lord. lately. Yeah. <laughs> There's so I many. Hate it. Yeah, I can't. I, hate I, it. I can't keep up with that crap. Uh, other news. Um, speaking. Of connecting spider-man uh the guy the director of spider-man these all three of these tom holland spider-mans he has been confirmed he's directing the fantastic four movie which is pr- very oh, early in development let's go but i'm excited because fantastic I mean, four sucks every single time <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even see that reboot but I'm it so looked real bad ready for a good one because <laughs> they're cool characters dude I know, and it's 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 unfortunate that they've I like for what those first two are. I can appreciate them for what they are. They're they're very campy. Oh, I love and, the campiness of them. I love it. I yeah, and I think I think Chris Evans is great in those yeah. movies as uh Michael B. Jordan being the exact same character. Chris Evans was him, right? Yeah. yeah. 
What if they brought him back? I mean, he doesn't have to come back as Captain America. What if they just brought him back as Human Torch again? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be Michael B. Jordan again. I want Michael B. Jordan. That would be yeah, cool. That would, that would be better. <laughs> if they redeemed him, he got, he got some redemption a bit. Although he was already Killmonger. It yeah, doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> 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 Nothing matters. All new reality. That's fair. <laughs> WandaVision. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this works. I I'm still iffy. I mean, in theory, they'll probably do like a CG thing since they're doing CG Hulk, but. We'll see. Everyone's always been saying um, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt as Mr. Fantastic and Two Storm. Oh, that'd be really, that'd be really sweet. It'd be cute because they're a real life couple, and it, it, they, uh, like all the fan art you see, it looks good. And John Krasinski buffed up, and he did. So he did nose, try to though, be bro. in the Marvel that Universe. Nose, man. He did try out for, I believe, Thor. Uh, he talked about that. No, he, oh, really? he tried out for Cap. Cap I think. Captain America. Yeah. Was it? I don't think that was a good yeah. idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm glad they didn't pick him. His up. nose <laughs> holds him back too much. Man. That's why I was like, even in, in this, I still think like, nah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's I could, always going to be my Jim Halpert, Reed. so he, he's yeah. kind of fucked from my standpoint. He's, he's like, I don't care how ripped you get, you'll always yeah. be Jim. I mean, he gets the Family <laughs> yeah, Matters sure. treatment uh, with uh, Jaleel White, where it's just like, you're always going to be fucking Steve you're Urkel, always Urkel. <laughs> like, well, I don't care how name, cool you try to be. What's his name uh, from Fantastic Four, Mr. Reed? He's like like the most basic like white dude. Of the yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, that's, he's just, yeah, he's that's just like a really smart scientist and happens to get And a really bad father. And a really bad father. You know what they should do? Make him a fucking... Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> oh, God. No. I just, I oh want this to be God. a thing. Just just keep making Mark Wahlberg a scientist. I don't care how stupid he is in real life. I love him. I just want him to always be the smartest character in anything he plays. I, just, I actually love that. I just just sitting there swole as shit looking through a microscope like, oh, <laughs> let me explain this to you guys. And he's just constantly having to tell people that he's a scientist. <laughs> I think it's the best joke Hollywood could play on him. I'm a scientist, yeah. damn it. <laughs> I make all nobody, these things. Nobody believes you, Mark. <laughs> nobody believes you. <laughs> uh. Oh, that'd be so good. That'd be so funny. So <laughs> um, yeah, so Fantastic Four, that's cool. I I, they'll, I think Marvel will get it right this time. I'm really um, I'm fingers <laughs> begging <laughs> that they do. Third time's the Oh, channel. my God, that Mark Wahlberg. There's <laughs> 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 got me. Um, uh-huh. All right, uh, we got some more Ant Man and the Wasp three news in the ma- form that uh, the third movie is going to be called Quantum Mania. This is probably the least the, the title I think is the goofiest. It's very comic booky. I'll give it that, but it's the the one that's I just like it didn't click with me. I was like Quantum Mania sounds so goofy, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but we did get to confirm that um, uh, Jonathan Majors, Alex, you watched um, what you call it? Uh, what's that show that just came out with the weird uh, on HBO with the creepy like. Um, monsters every now and then. Oh, oh uh, I can't remember. H- uh, Lovecraft Country. Yes. Um, yeah, the, that's a great one show. of the guys in there. He's in that show. Um, he has been confirmed as Kang the Conqueror as the villain, which everyone is oh, cool. super excited about. I do not um, know that villain, but that's awesome. He, which is good. I'll tell you about it right now. Basically, <laughs> uh, he's a, he's a time travel villain, which is why I think working with the quantum realm and and time okay. travel is is going to be a thing. He, uh. Is I'm pretty sure he's like a uh, a descendant of Reed Richards who went back in time and started conquering the world basically. Whoa. Um. So yeah, he's just kind of a time traveling nuisance. So that's exciting. Um. We'll get to see that. So yeah, Ant Man three, cool. This is gonna be something. Um. Y'all know I don't like Paul Rudd. Uh. What? I said y'all know I don't like Paul Rudd. <laughs> Do you not I, really? I don't like you Paul Rudd. not like Paul Rudd. I don't like Paul Rudd. Yeah, that's fire. Oh, shit. I, don't I, I like I him as Ant Man. I don't know why. I don't I think know. that was good. Like he was good as Ant Man. So, something about him. I thought he was good. Ant-Man. He's a funny guy. I he got. I know he got ripped ass though yeah. for that role. Jesus, yeah. Paul Rudd got abs. <laughs> I mean, how's that man fifty and still like what? It's something about Marvel and just picking all these characters are just people that just don't fucking grow up. Why nope. is that man still twenty eight? <laughs> grow, <Right. laughs> get older. Why does he still look like he's look like he's in Clueless? <laughs> <Looks> right. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> they all drink that weird Disney blood. Apparently, at their I don't know. Like we. we <laughs> We talk yeah. a lot of shit about a lot of people being lizards or something, but these Keanu Reeves, these Paul Rudds, we need to we need to look a little bit further into their lifestyle. <laughs> Something's wrong. That's funny. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, we got some Thor four news. Uh, Thor: Love and Thunder, which that is my favorite title out of all <laughs> yeah. these movies. I love it so much. <laughs> um, Christian Bale, Batman. He is confirmed as the villain of that movie. Um, Gore the God Butcher. Um, another weirdly obscure villain. Basically, he gets a magic sword, which uh, you find out is actually like a symbiote, like Venom. But instead of forming a suit, it makes a sword that can kill gods. And he basically just goes on a mission to kill every god he can encounter. That's about it. I have 
no nothing else and and so we'll see but oh. christian bale will be it so it's it's interesting i would highly recommend you guys look at what he looks like if they make the character based anything off of the comic he looks crazy. i can't imagine he, christian bale's he, gonna do that though that's why i'm like, like oh him. i don't know he looks like a star wars he character does, yeah. he's terrifying. he looks yeah he looks dope hmm. i just can't imagine christian bale doing anything like that <laughs> you don't think so man i really wish he unless would. they I make him so cg good. Yeah. Would Christian Bale sit in a chair for makeup, though? I don't know I'm, if he would. Yeah, I don't know this man's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I don't know how passionate <laughs> he is about this. Yeah. I could definitely I mean, see I guess him if it's a one-off, maybe. a pretty good villain, though. Yeah. No, I think he's a oh, yeah, I think great he, choice yeah. villain-wise. I'm just, I and, would really like him to actually do the character yeah. justice like this. because He looks yeah. awesome. He looks dope. Yeah. Uh, and we also know that Natalie Portman is coming back mm-hmm. for this movie as potentially um, Thor. She'll get the hammer. Um, which Whoa, everyone, will, I'm excited about. I know people are going to be pissy, but who cares about those people? Fuck Natalie me. Portman, uh, interesting. I mean, I knew it was supposed to happen, but does that happen? Yeah, that's why I was I, in the comics. Jane Foster, her character, becomes Thor at one point. But I, I was know. hoping that Natalie Portman was going to eventually be recast. <laughs> I was <laughs> kind of making what on you that happen. Natalie Portman. <laughs> what I think is Natalie Portman. I just don't know that she <laughs> that she fills that role well. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I well, she like notoriously, I think, didn't. Like have fun doing that second Thor movie, and so which is why she's not in the third yeah. one at all. Did anybody like, have fun? But now it's <laughs> <laughs> ouch. <laughs> but I'm I'm glad uh, clearly she's coming back. Also, um, Taika Waititi is back in writing and Good. directing, and he did Good. Ragnarok, which is a great movie. Um, yeah. so I'm assuming it's just gonna be uh just as good. But yeah. Uh, next up, we're I think that's all the movie news. Yeah, pretty much. Now we're on to Marvel TV. Uh, Jesus, we're back to Marvel TV. <laughs> um, uh, we know we're we're getting a Miss Marvel TV show, which is not a bit Captain Marvel, but uh, Miss Marvel, uh, which is she's in the video uh, game right now, right? She's yeah, she's the, she's getting a lot of play actually. That character, um, yeah, she's the main quote unquote main character in that new Marvel Avengers game that everyone loves and no one hates. Um, <laughs> that uh, so she's getting her own Disney Plus series. Um, we also know that she and Monica Rambeau will be in Captain Marvel 2. Um, but we got like just a little behind the scenes sizzle that, hey, look, we're making it. This character is important. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's just another show. I'm excited for it. It's mostly di- also more diversity because uh, Miss Marvel is uh, Pakistani. Um, nice. And uh, she's got like weird Mr. Fantastic power. She can stretch and yada, yada type of thing. Um, She's honestly the best part of that video game. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. The, the story part. And the, yeah, I got to see uh, someone actually kind of play through it because I wasn't going to do it because I'm not buying that game. <laughs> Even though it's like $12 now already. Uh, yes. <laughs> but the main story of it is really interesting and really fun looking. Like, it looks beautiful and everything. But she's actually a super endearing character. So I'm kind of excited to see yeah. That's good. more of what, what she's about. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited for the series. Um, I, I would imagine that Captain Marvel makes a cameo at some point in that show. Yeah. But, um... All right, now we're getting to like the the stuff that we don't really have a lot on, but it's there. Uh, we're getting a fucking I am Groot, a Baby Groot series, cause what it's does Disney. That mean? Yeah, it's just Baby Groot on mini adventures. Apparently, oh my God. I wrote I wrote in my notes Vin Diesel question mark Is he coming back to do this voice, or they're just like no, we got enough I am Groot from he, you? Did we're, he we're good. play Baby Groot? Yeah, hmm. dude. There's footage of him trying to like make his voice high, but I'm pretty sure they just, they just like, had that, did it. Do with, it yeah. They yeah. were like, no, Vin, Vin, it's fine. We, we have pitch shift technology, bro. It, it's, it's, 20, <laughs> it's 2018. Like, what are you doing, man? I appreciate it, but it, it's okay. It's not going to work like that. <laughs> is that going to be. I am good. <laughs> <laughs> is this one going to be live action? Because that's just. Yeah, it's oh like, like how he looks in Guardians. Yep, overload. I'll Too probably much. still watch it. I'll watch it. I like Baby Groot. Yeah, just seeing more Groot's adventures cool. of Baby Groot. But that's, yeah, yeah that's I'll watch it. I don't. I don't have any kids, so it's gonna be real awkward me sitting by myself <laughs> watching the show. But <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And uh, more Guardians. We're getting a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special coming in 2022. Ooh. James Gunn is writing and directing it as well. I'm assuming he's just gonna do it as he's writing and directing or um directing a uh, Guardians three, which is still happening. Um, that's fun. It'll be like just that gang hanging out, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's holiday about specials it. are cool sometimes. Yeah, I watched the most recent um, Star Wars holiday special, the the Lego version one, which is kind of it was it was cute. Yeah, it was oh, fun. No. I did not see that. <laughs> oh no, they did some time travel yeah. stuff. It was it was fun. It was actually cute. Huh. Yeah. Historically, Christmas specials not great. Well, you're the Grinch, so you hate. I know. Christmas. I know. Star Wars <laughs> went down in history as like the worst. Uh, yeah. Star Wars or the worst like uh, 
Christmas special thing. Yeah. 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 It's wait, what did? Star Wars. The, the, they, they did a Christmas Star Wars special. holiday special. <laughs> I feel like they it's kind of started the tradition awful. of nerdy things doing a holiday special. It's terrible. But oh, they did man. it the worst by far. I want to watch it so yeah, bad. You should watch it. Is it on it's, Disney it's Plus or anything? Really it's it's really yeah, bad. It's it probably bad. is. It's great in a horrible way. <sighs> it's really like, bad. It's so oh, man. <laughs> love it. Yeah, de- definitely. Yeah. It's a must see. <laughs> it's awful. It's a must see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're getting that. Um, obviously, Guardians Three is coming up at some point. Yeah. Um, who knows what's gonna happen with that? We don't know much about that movie. Um, but the next another uh Marvel series is uh Armor Wars. Um, this one I'm excited about. It's uh basically about Don Cheadle's War Machine and him having to uh basically clean up all of Tony Stark's messes, like pretty much oh, every no. single Iron Man thing <laughs> ever. I like Tony is the worst. He's the bad guy in fucking everything. He makes all of the villains, and he's done it again in this show. Where basically, <laughs> after he dies, all of his tech goes out. Like a bunch of people find his tech basically, oh, no. and it's about right. War Machine trying to fight all that and get it all back. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, even in death, this guy can't stop making villains. He's the fucking worst. Ultron 2.0. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I was about to say, most of Marvel supervillains wouldn't exist if this man just fucking left well enough alone. Yeah. Like, just stop. Literally all of them. Uh, <laughs> dang. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, I'm hoping we get, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sam Rockwell as Justin Hammer from the second Iron Man back. Because I thought he was hilarious in that movie. And I think he's a funny dude. And he's a great actor. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming we'll get him back. At some point, speaking of more Iron Man stuff, we're getting an Ironheart series, which uh, Ironheart is a fairly recent new character. Um, she is a black woman. Her name is Riri, Riri Williams. And basically, she creates her own Iron Man suit hmm. without Tony Stark's aid. And she kind of becomes the new Iron Man in a way. And I'm pretty sure she's going to be in Armor Wars as well. I don't hmm. remember, though. But um, we're getting those two series. And so it's just like more Iron Man stuff, more cool Iron Man stuff. They're going to be. Doing all kinds of Iron Man things. Hmm. Um, nice. I'm glad Cheadle still has a job and he's still doing <laughs> stuff. He doesn't have to just rely on Iron Man, which is nice. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this? Uh, most of us being of uh, marginalized groups. How do we feel about this diversity? Feeling I'm all for it. I, I guess I mean the announcement. All these things are coming out at different points in time, so I guess it's gonna feel a little less forced. But it feels kind of weird right. here seeing it all in my face at once. Yeah, I guess like the, yeah. the character looks super cool. I'm looking at her uh, outfit. Her outfit's awesome. Her like suit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just wonder. This is interesting. A lot of a lot of characters of color right now. I mean, we I guess we have to force feed it to some extent in order to make it normalized. Uh, yeah. So I think I think ultimately it's a good thing. But I know what you mean. It's kind of odd to look like look at the announcement, I guess, and be like. It's just me knowing that a bunch of white people sat in a in right, a right. <laughs> at a table yeah. and told let's, us we should have black more superheroes. things with more with more right. people of color. They'll like that, yeah. right? Yeah. I guess it's like if it helped. I, I'm I don't know 100, percent but like when the comics, these comics, like Miss Marvel and Iron Heart, were fairly newish. Within, I think within the past five years, if I'm mm-hmm. if not a little more than that. I want to say Iron Heart uh, was like only first, a few years ago. Iron Heart was like two years ago, yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, but like I'm pretty sure Miss Marvel was written by. Um, person of color. Let's so go. It's not the comic book, at least, I think. I'll take um, it. I'll accept it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it, uh, when you look at it all at once, it looks like they're pushing it some kind of agenda, but I like to think a little more hopefully in that. It's just like, you did this in the comics, so now here's the next level of this, mm-hmm. these characters. We're not getting Iron Man back. We're going to do Iron Heart. Yada, mm-hmm. yada, yada. But yeah, I'm I'm all for it. And all the, also, these aren't coming for a couple Listen, of years. I, I can talk about woke economics for years, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and the money to be made in being woke. So that that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Our final main big series: Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. He's back. He's going to start in a Secret Wars series, um, along with the 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 Green Skull Scrolls from Captain Marvel, Th- uh, Talos. Yeah. Uh, He's coming back, and as we know, at the end of the Spider-Man second Spider-Man movie, um, that wasn't the real Nick Fury. Nick Fury's in space with uh, just hanging out, doing some shit up there. <laughs> um, and uh, but the the main thing about Secret Wars is a big a big famous uh, comic storyline where the Skrulls basically took over, kind of like how Hydra did in that second Cat movie, except this time it's going to be Skrulls and aliens <laughs> taking over. Wow, a lot of the world. Um, so we're going to see that. We, that's all we know is that um, Nick Fury and Talos are back. Um, yeah. Something more new. Samuel Jackson's back, just wearing an eye patch, doing what? God knows what. Hanging out. <laughs> Hanging out. That's epic. Uh, and then the last big thing 
that they announced was uh, they will not be recasting Chadwick Boseman in Black Panther 2. This could go of two ways. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with it, um, but I know there are people that are very attached to the character of T'Challa um, that they feel like they barely got time with that character, and now it's like, oh, why not recast? Because now we're losing that character forever, in a sense. Um, I hear that, but I think, uh, I think that's the right decision to do. Uh, I, I, right, I, right I, I would agree. Like maybe they could well. bring the character back in a few years as like a TV series, like a, a different timeline. But I think with this timeline, with what happened, I think that it's uh, it's best to like pass the mantle down to a different, um, like to to his sister, a different character, to his sister yeah. and to or Mbaku and stuff like yeah, yeah. That's what I'm interested in. What's going to happen in this movie? Uh, how are they? Killing off T'Challa, like, or did he? You know, it's gonna be one of those things where, like, T'Challa went to McDonald's and he won't be back for a while. <laughs> yeah. So in this movie, we're gonna have he Shuri went and got a pack it. of cigarettes you know I mean? and he like, just so, never came back. <laughs> I mean, I hope they just he went to Florida. Like, what? I don't. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm interested to see what they want to do with that. Have like one scene of the movie with him in it, and they right. Just, it's yeah, also like to it's gonna be hard considering they've already established in that world that all the former Black Panthers go to like this divine plane where you can see them. And so, like, it's it's it, yeah, it's gonna be a tough. It's gonna be tough for them. I I don't envy them yeah. at this point. Um, it's gonna be rough to yeah to create. But uh, we'll see. That's that movie's coming out in, within the next couple of years as well. But Brian, kind of touching on your point about Wokonomics, like I'm actually shocked that they did not recast T'Challa, especially because of how much money is in the Black Pan- Panther franchise. So like they'll continue it. I agree. I think it was with a- different characters, but it, I am actually shocked that like for once, you know, they actually did like the honorable thing and like didn't, you know, like they chose to yeah, let Chadwick absolutely. Boseman be Black Panther and like that's it. Uh, I, and uh, it's I think and that, yeah. I respect that. I mean, you don't make as much money as you make if you if you're making bad decisions. <laughs> so you know what I mean. And that's so. the thing. Like the Black Panther isn't the character. T'Challa is the character. Right, right, like right. you can have more Black Panther, just not T'Challa. Mm. And so it's like. I yeah man yeah I'm perfectly I'm, fine. I'm, I'm, Pass it down that mantle. It's okay. Um, exactly. It's a mantle to be passed. They've literally established it in that first movie. <laughs> it's a mantle yeah, to be yeah. passed. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I understand the other side. But yeah, mm-hmm. for me, I'm just like yeah. It, it, if it wasn't such a tragedy, uh, it'd be yeah. different. Like Don Cheadle was recasted as as Rhodey in the second Iron Man. <laughs> that's, cause, that's because Terrence Howard. Howard didn't <laughs> die of cancer at forty die. or whatever. And Terrence Howard so just it's, decided it's different. he didn't want to yeah. do this shit anymore. I mean, he hated it. <laughs> so do you guys like do you guys like um Shuri as the next one? Because I honestly think that she doesn't quite have like the charisma. I, I I really like the idea of like doing like Nakia, his girlfriend from the first uh Black Panther movie. I would take a Koye. Or a Koye. The, the leader but, like, of like I feel like they got the guard. Like, it, I don't know. Like they I feel like there's other people they could use too, but I know Shuri's like the. I think they could write Shuri to be more charismatic mm-hmm. and stuff because I think they established like she's snarky. She she's very she's smart. She's she's got the tech. She's like the smartest person in the Marvel universe. It, it feels and like like yeah. Spider Man again if they do her though. You know what I mean? Kinda. Um, yeah. With with that. being the kind of unsure, kind of small, younger kind of person that's kind of getting their right. their feeling right. for being a superhero. So that I don't know if they can make an interesting take on that. I'm not mad about it either way. Whatever it is. I think Okoye would just be a fucking badass, and I think that would be super cool. Yeah. But that's, that that's cool. just me feeling my type of way. I don't know if that actually makes I, sense uh, right. in, the, in the universe. I would like to see it be like, even if they weren't sure, they didn't want to lean exactly on Shuri at this point, they would just split it between Shuri and M'Baku. Yeah. Like, I think M'Baku could be the muscle. Shuri's yeah. the, the tech, the, the, the genius, the smarts. They both wear the suit, would... and she just rides on his, <laughs> yeah. on his shoulders. He yeah. <laughs> like gives her a um, piggyback ride into battle the whole time. Banjo from, uh, Mortal Kombat, like with the little kid that comes off to beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see what happens. That movie's going to be very interesting when it, when it eventually does come out. Um, all right, we did. That's the Marvel part. We have a couple real quick stories we'll talk about that's not Marvel or Star Wars related, but the actual like Disney part of Disney <laughs> that we kind of forget. Um, like uh, one, Indiana Jones 5, which forget is technically a Disney property at this point. Um, it's going to end really? with wow. this. It's going to end with Indiana Jones 5. Harrison Ford is coming back. And James Mangold, that's the most excited thing I'm about. The guy who directed the Logan, Ooh. most recent Wolverine movie, the re- the, the oh, best one, wow. the good one. He is directing that movie. Um, I'm very excited for that, just based on that fact, because I think he's a great director. Um, and then finally, Harrison Ford can go fly a plane into a ditch or whatever he does. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then uh, another exciting one is that we're getting an alien TV series on FX um, by Alex, like you were saying, Legion. It's the the guy that yeah. created Legion and Fargo, which I haven't seen either one, but I really, really need Legion to. I really is hear really it's good. good. I didn't watch Fargo, but the Fargo movie is great, so I'm sure there's like a good story in there. Yeah, um, and Ridley Scott is, a, is also apparently attached to help like produce and stuff, and uh, it's gonna sit place on Earth, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm really um, excited. I love the Alien um, movie movie trilogy, the whole universe, but um, it'll be it'll be cool because they reference like other planets and stuff. So it'd be cool to see what earth looks like if we spend so right. much time in outer space. Why are every, why is everyone traveling? Is earth even like safe? Right. Exactly. It'd be cool to see. Um, that. They do say that. I mean, I guess aliens are coming to earth then if, if it's going to be placed on earth, I mean, an alien got to earth and we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't love that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's cool. Um, this next one I'm super excited about. Uh, it's uh, their next uh, coming up uh, animated movie called Encanto. Which is uh the music I'm most excited because the music is written by Lin Manuel Miranda, the guy who did Hamilton and In the Heights, um yeah. and Moana. So and it's about uh it takes place in Colombia and it, we just you just get like a short thirty minute teaser um and it's apparently a magical world and magical family and yada yada. yada. <laughs> I'm mostly just excited for the music. Um, say, talk about a great. big break, dude. That yeah, man, he's all over it. Speaking of which, he's also we got an announcement. I didn't I didn't have it on there because I just remembered. We got a full cast announcement of the live action Little Mermaid movie, which he's also doing the music for as well. Oh, sweet. Um, so we already knew that that one girl, ha- uh, Halle Bailey, is little, uh, Ariel. But now we know that Javier Bardem is King Triton. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we know that David Diggs, who was in Hamilton, he played Jefferson. Um, he it's has the big Sebastian. hair. He's playing Sebastian. Yeah. I think that's hilarious. Um, uh, I'm still not happy. Melissa McCarthy is playing as Ursula. I would rather have had That's a Queen Tifa still. Mark. Yeah, Melissa I'm McCarthy. T- I'm, no, <laughs> I don't. We'll we'll see about I, that. I like one. her though. I I hope she does a great. I job. like her I'm too. But to when I heard it. that they're doing live action, I'm like, come on, get Queen Latifah. Like, yeah, come on, that, that, would, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa McCarthy is just. I, I don't. I don't want to disrespect. Can she sing? I don't want to disrespect her career at all and what she does, but she always seems to get put in very throwaway movies mm-hmm. as like mm-hmm. that's the funny woman. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's just kind of how she's been yeah. typecasted a little bit. Unfortunately, so I'm yeah, really I don't know. I don't think she'll do poorly by any means, but I just hate that right. she's always put in that kind of place. I'd rather have like somebody that I know is a bona fide singer. It's definitely like a weird role for her because yeah, of that. exactly. But I'm excited to see it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited to see all the people butthurt that Ariel's black. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she's not supposed to be. Are black. you telling me my fantasy mermaid isn't white <laughs> anymore? She's supposed to have red hair. I think that's awesome, bro. She's like twelve. I hope she still has red hair. That's the only thing I care about. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if her hair is blue, green, whatever. Yeah, it could be purple. She's a black woman. That's fucking dope. I don't know. She's a fish. <laughs> Queen Latifah's Ursula would have been. God, that would have been so good. Yeah, that would have yeah, been so good. That would have been amazing. Um. Yeah, and then we have little things like there's so much shit. Like there's a Tom Hanks is in a live action Pinocchio, which is going straight to Disney Plus. He's not playing Pinocchio. <laughs> he's playing Geppetto. He's playing Geppetto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a real boy. Uh, there's a Mighty Ducks reboot coming Jeez. with uh, Emilio Estevez is coming back, <laughs> which I'm excited about. Uh, like we talked about earlier, Chip and Dale's coming back uh, with a. Uh, John Mulaney and Andy Samberg, which that oh my gosh, that actually sounds amazing! Wait, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're getting, uh, I think, Darkwing Duck coming back. What? There's, there's so much shit that's it's. it's okay. We already know that there's a live action prequel to the light, or yeah, the live action The Lion King is getting a prequel about Mufasa, which we already kind of knew about, but I don't give a fucking shit about that movie. <laughs> Man, yeah, that they really dropped the ball yeah. on that one, but that's a whole nother. I story. don't give a shit. About that. Yeah, don't care. Uh, it was a movie. It existed. It was, yeah, it, it is. It didn't it help is. that I had to see it in a shitty theater with a bunch of screaming children. <laughs> that, that uh, like three dollar theater, Alex. We went. Oh we, we god, that's went, right. That like five dollar. Oh man, that theater was. Those people were so awful choice. in that theater. <laughs> you made a bad yeah, <laughs> it was just badass children, and no one was policing these children. Get them out of here, dude. It's a weekday. Yeah. Go to school. You heard it here, Brian Williams. Police these children. Police these children, man. Lock them up. Get them out of here. That's a new shirt. That's a new shirt for Brian. (laughs) Yeah, there's so much, but I we we covered all the big ones, all the basics, all the stuff that we'll actually mostly talk about and watch in the future. Disney owns us. It owns us everything. It owns our childhood. We'll 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 bow down to those ears for the rest of our fucking lives at this point. (laughs) 
But I, I'm excited for the Star Wars and the Marvel stuff and, and some of those other Disney property stuff. That was a lot. It was a lot. Thanks for going on that roller coaster, that Disney World ride with us. The Disney <laughs> with us. They're killing it, though. Yeah. Yep. We did it. Um, all right. You guys, uh, should we jump into our final segment of the episode, uh, which we like to call uh, Free For All? Let's go. I don't know why I said it like a three musketeer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, your little sort of free for all. <laughs> and all for free. Uh, free for all. <laughs> four spelled F O U R because we're cool. Title pending uh, is a segment where we just kind of anything happens, anything can go. We can talk about what we're doing for the day, what we're doing for the week. We can have a rant. Devin could uh, have a rant because, you know, Devin loves a good rant. <laughs> uh, um, we can talk about what we're playing, what we're watching, what we're reading, whatever we want. Um, yeah, um, but this week we're going to do something a little special um, in the fact that we're going to talk about uh, one thing that we're looking forward to in the year of 2021. And uh, Alex has a disclaimer. Yeah, though. disclaimer. Instead of rule. Uh, <laughs> no, we're, with everything considered, obviously we want the coronavirus to, you know, come <laughs> to an end, uh, our country to do a lot better in so many things. But all the pandemic and negative things aside, what positive things are we looking forward to, pandemic aside? I'll go first. Um, I really want the pandemic to end. <laughs> okay, I think you missed my disclaimer, Oscar. I Obviously, my that's friends. all of our choices. <laughs> and from if you don't that, pick that, you're you a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fell asleep. <laughs> um, uh, Alex, you go first since you started with the disclaimer. You okay, go ahead. for well, for me, I'm most excited for um, is. Uh, the new Breath of the Wild sequel mm. to be announced. They have, they have I, I doubt that it's even <laughs> coming out next like year, but anymore, just give me like a little bit more information to chew on, you know? I just, yeah, just give me something. <laughs> I'm looking forward to something I'll be, to give me I'll back. Be happy, yeah. Oh, man. I, I That's just how an- low our standards have got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the game. I just want to know that it's I just want to know it's coming. I know, it. I know I'm not going to see it next year, but if you just give me like a, a really good trailer, like, <laughs> show me a title card. I can make it another year or two. You know? Give me a t- yeah, I want to know what it's called. I want to know when it's two? coming. Electric mo- more, mostly. I want to know Electric. when it's going to be here. If it's five <laughs> years, if it's next year. Oh, man, that's if, funny. If it's 10, 15 <laughs> years from now, just I, just, I just need to know. I'm looking forward to oh, the man. information that you might give me about a game yeah. I might one day play. I mean, honestly, I'm, ha- I'm still having so much fun with uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, I still haven't beaten it, but I'm just like one. Like, I could go into the into the castle and, and fight Ganon and beat it. But I'm just having so much fun just running around, exploring. Every day I pop in there and I just find like something new and amazing. Like the other day I was playing and I saw this cool door that I couldn't open. It was up <laughs> at the bottom of this snowy mountain hill. I'm like, man, what secret is going to be behind this door? And I couldn't <laughs> figure it out. I spent, I, I couldn't figure it out. And I, I ended up going to the top of the mountain oh, or the top of this hill I was at. And I found a snowball and I rolled it up, up the hill some more. And I dropped it down the hill and it p- tumbled and tumbled down the snow and it got bigger and bigger. And then it hit the door and it exploded the door. And nice. I, could get, and I nice. could get past it to a little bit. Is this what it's like when you first watch your child walk? For the first time? <laughs> that's pretty much that's pretty much every experience in Breath of the Wild. So, so, so what much. was in the door? It's it's like this uh, shrine you go through. It's like a little mini dungeon. And at the end of the dungeon, you get this uh, spirit orb. You can trade it in for like a new heart vessel cool. or a uh-huh. stamina wheel. Yeah, yeah, that's better than what I expected. Because Zelda likes to do this really great thing where it's like, oh, you have so much fun. You do all these things to find these secrets. It's like, hey, kid, if you blow up this rock over here, I'll give you $40. And it's like, $40? <laughs> I got 300 million rupees right now. You want to give me 40 <laughs> for all this nonsense? I just did. I don't know. It always used to make me so yeah. mad. No, I don't there's a, do there's that. a whole bunch of little mini games from all the vendors and stuff. Yeah. That's, still, that's still in there and it's pretty ridiculous. But there's so much just exploration and I want more games to be uh, to follow this lead. Yeah. I feel like um, yeah. the most recent Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid Five, was kind of like that. A lot of In people way, gave yeah. it gave it a lot of grief, but it was a really great like sandbox world to just explore, mm-hmm. and that's where you have the most fun in those particular games where you're just like creating the story yourself and the, yeah. the gameplay, and that's uh, I think that's really cool and really unique. Games like that, nice. there's a big issue, and there's a lot of talk about that when it comes to just like game like development, where it's like if you make an open world, which is such a popular thing right now. You have to make it fun to explore. You have to want mm-hmm. to explore it, or there's no use for having it. Mass Effect Andromeda was not fun mm-hmm. to explore, <laughs> so it sucked as an exploring game. Worked. But I love that Zelda still was able to get that <laughs> get that correct and yeah. uh, making it like something I actually want to do. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Speaking of games, real quick, Alex, uh, have you beaten uh, Fallen Order yet? I 
have not beaten Fallen Order yet. <laughs> All right, we'll see you Still next week. <laughs> Still working on how it. many? How many? Uh, how, have you gotten any closer to beating Fallen Order? Uh, no, but I have had a lot more fun with Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> but I did open that door in Breath of the Wild, so. Yeah, I, I <laughs> almost I loaded it up and uh, I did something else instead. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day, listeners, before this podcast comes to an end, uh, maybe, maybe, will beat maybe. Star Wars Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Big Order. Big maybe. Big maybe. Um, who wants to go next? I'll who, go who, next. Who's got something? Me. Go ahead, Brian. Me. I'm excited about the same thing I was excited for back in uh, 2007. <laughs> I thought you were uh, going to say the same thing Alex was excited about. Uh, I was fucking excited for announcement for Breath of the Wild 2. Can't wait. I don't even own a Nintendo Switch, but I just want to know that it might Hell exist yeah. out there. I'm with you. <laughs> no, I'm excited for a lovely series that uh, melded my childhood back in 2007. What was that? I was in high school or something like that. The Mass Effect mm. remaster is allegedly oh. coming out in spring of next year. Mm-hmm. And anyone that knows me knows that I play uh, comfort games very often. I play the same six games over and over again. (laughs) And Mass Effect is a game that I do play every single year for some stupid-ass reason. (laughs) And now I get to play it, but better. Is it really but supposed better. to come out in spring? That's what I they know. claim. They just say spring 2021. Which, whatever which one is the it? The hell first one or all three of them? <laughs> right. Yeah, all three of them. I think they're going to be rescued. They also Damn. said that Mass Effect will continue if Bioware lives long enough to continue it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, they, they were they really... Uh, die beforehand. They, they were really feeling themselves when they said that. I don't yeah, know I was that. like... Mm. That was a lot of confidence. <laughs> I was like, you might want to put a caveat in there that you have to say, you have to be alive. Put a question mark. You have to be around. We have to save our company first. Yeah. <laughs> they're really banking on Mass Effect Remastered to sell. Well, we'll see them. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I'm excited because, uh, as you guys know, I've only ever played the first one. I played it on Alex's old Xbox 360 in college. Classic. And then because uh, uh, Xbox used to have Mass Effect, I never because I only had PlayStation. They never had Mass Effect uh, for the longest time. So I played the first one, and then thanks Sony, they finally got all three Mass Effects, and I got them. But I didn't want to replay the first one over again. <laughs> and so I still have not played two and three. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> one, day. one day. But now it's like, I, this remake, I might just wait for that and just throw away that money I spent on my PS3 mm. and just wait for this remake to play. And I'll play all three of them there. That's probably for the best, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Go ahead, Dad. What'd you expect yeah, for me? Now? I, I think at some point at, in 2021, I'm going to get a PS5. So I'm excited for those faster loading times and also the, the good... Uh, I'm I'm gonna be excited to be a PlayStation person finally because I've never been one before. Oh man! Cool. So this man's been an oh, Xbox baby for a minute now. Yeah, I've been a <laughs> I've been an Xbox guy with uh, X body spray and just like you know, hate <laughs> getting killed by kids on with, on Call of Duty, getting killed by 14 year olds. Uh, my whole uh, video game experience. But I've always been more drawn to story based games, which is why I think I should switch over. And also, the PS5 just looks empirically better than the Xbox. Series X, or I mean, do you, do you want a Wi Fi router or do you want a uh, refrigerator? <laughs> yes, I want a giant Wayne Tower in my house. <laughs> so those either are your way, choices. You yeah. get a giant refrigerator or you get a Wi Fi router. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. But either way, I look forward to playing the new <laughs> Spider Man game, the Horizon game, because like air, arrow games, just like ga- games where you run around with a bow and arrow, just awesome for some reason. Like, we uh, like whenever mm, I play yeah. Skyrim, That's I was fair. playing Skyrim again, I was like, all right, I'm never going to shoot anybody with a bow and arrow uh, in this game because I want to try to like do it with magic this time. And then within the first two hours, I was just like already, you know, no, nope. just bowing everybody. Like, <laughs> you go into your first dungeon. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a giant tank character. Yep. He's gonna w- build a giant sword. Nope, I guess I'm doing I'm a ninja s- archer. I'm sneaking again. around with ninja <laughs> archer all <laughs> the time. As a ninja archer. That's yeah. so funny. I can't, I can't play those games with the bow and arrow. I always want to, but I am like, I okay, I'll just get a sword so I can survive, and then I just end up sticking with that. Dude, the thing with it's, the thing with yeah, Skyrim is archery doing, so easy. Doing the stealth archery thing makes every like cave you enter that much slower like it adds on a good 20-30 mm-hmm. minutes to each one okay, and you're like maybe that's but it's thing. still so much fun because you just like you know right. the little the little eyes close and you're like eh, do they see me and then like opens a little bit you're like oh, no, no. And you're back. <laughs> just, so, <laughs> I don't know it's like that and when you're when you're trying to steal someone from someone's house and you just gotta wait for their the little eye yeah. to go away and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly so I mean I'm excited for Horizon because so that's goofy. you know that's all bow action I haven't played that at all but um but yeah I mean I'm excited for the the PS5 Dude, one. yeah play that first one that first one's great mm-hmm. yeah I'm gonna get the disc the disc I'll version so I can steal all my uh, all the all all y'all's uh, PS4 discs <laughs> on the PS4 games yeah <laughs> yeah I fucks with it I get it um nice um for me 
Uh, I was gonna say uh the Ju- Zack Snyder Justice League <laughs> coming out, but uh Ugh. we talk we talk about that a lot. <laughs> so twenty twenty one's gonna excited, be a rough I, year. Guys. I'll hold off on that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all we got to look at, you thought my that's standards were we- low. <laughs> Oscar said I want coronavirus uh, to end, and I'm really looking forward to the Zack Snyder kind of justice. <laughs> No, so instead, ah, oh, I just realized mine's just as lame as Alex's now. I'm excited <laughs> to, I'm excited to see footage of God of War two, which is God of War Ragnarok, Ooh. which is supposed to come out. They said in 2021. Wait, you mean God of War? But I don't believe. Wait, wait it. wouldn't it be God of War five? Technically, but the remake, the oh. reboot was just called God of War. It's which two, is why this one's it's just two point seven five remind final mix. <laughs> it's like it's like the Spider Verse. They're just kind of like okay. starting new. Yeah. We we treat it like Kingdom Hearts. It's two point thirty eight. Mellow Kratos two <laughs> yeah. versus Angry Kratos two. Yeah. Versus Angry God Slayer Kratos. Yeah. Uh yeah. So it's called God of War Ragnarok. It's supposed to come out twenty twenty one. I'm assuming fall if they make it, but I, mm. I can't imagine them doing it. But maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm, see it next in uh, two years. <laughs> yeah, 20, 2022 might excited. be a good year for that one. Good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm very excited for that game. I think that first game is nearly flawless. It's, yeah, that story is so good. That that's the, a beautiful game. The fact that they took that combat from the original God of Wars, completely changed it, but also kept it so similar, and it's just it feels so good. That combat's so good. Um. I'm just excited more of that world, especially um, no spoilers because I know none of you guys have finished it. Um, I finished that, that one. or Al, Al, Alex finished that one. Damn, That's one game I like that. Um, I don't. I was like, play there's a <laughs> it, there's a big Easter egg cliffhanger at the end of that game that it's like oh shit, and I am I'm very excited for it. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to to God Award Ragnarok. Nice. And Zack Snyder Justice League. Nice. Uh, That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like Alex, I'll, I'll I'll beat that game someday. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I only got to the part where that skinny dude was kicking my ass. Uh, he threw a whole tree at me, and I was like, "Oh, that's like the first ten uh, minutes I, of that I, game." I sure do know that. <laughs> if you watch me get there, <laughs> oh my it, God. Gets, uh, it gets substantially better. Like immediately following that section, oh, okay. <laughs> just gets to the halfway point, and the game completely changes. Listen, I, I gotta start playing my PlayStation, dude. <laughs> You do. My PlayStation you 4. Maybe by the time PlayStation 6 comes out, I'll, I'll get caught up on my PS4 <laughs> yeah. games. PlayStation <laughs> The PlayStation 10. I'm, I'm that kid. Oh, that's funny. Um, Yeah. All right. That was uh, Free For All, title pending. Uh, thanks, guys. Those are uh, our, our things we're looking forward to in 2021. Yay. Pandemic, obviously. But these little little things we're looking 2020. forward to. 2020. We got really sad things to look forward to, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> our, things are, our things are lame as hell. I just need comfort, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Give me it's Mass true. Effect it's again. Very true. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously deep down, we 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 yeah, pandemic end. Have a beer with a friend. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, thanks for for hanging out with us another week. Uh, you can follow us at or email us at uh the fortress of at gmail.com. Fortress spelled F O U R T R E S S. Um, and email us any feedback you have, any questions you have, uh, anything that we missed that you wanted to let us know, any recommendations for um, topics you want us to cover, or anything you want to throw at us. Um, yeah, email us there. You can also follow us on Instagram at the Fortress of, and on Twitter at the Fortress of. Uh, bye, guys. You can follow me, at <laughs> Alex is an alien. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. You can follow me on. <laughs> <laughs> You can follow me on Instagram at it's underscore by the way. That's I-T-Z underscore by the way. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash by the way X. Uh, maybe someday I'll start posting a streaming again. We'll see. <laughs> and mine's... Uh... Is he oh. muted? <laughs> I, think, I think you're muted, Devin. Oh, but you, you, I guess it's it's all good. It's fine. He doesn't know what his Instagram handle is anyways. All right, what you can follow Devin at the Fortress of. Uh, all right, guys, that's uh, it's been fun. We'll see you guys is this next an week. Edit point. We'll find out. <laughs> I think Devin broke. Wait, am I? You guys can't hear me. He's laughing his ass off. Though. Oh no! I'm, I'm assuming this is part of the bit. No. Is this your bit? Is this your I'm bit, Devin? Bit. I'm gonna kill you. Bit. Said no. <laughs> <laughs> unmute, <laughs> unmute yourself. Even it's Devin's not, internet doesn't want him to me. get his Instagram right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right all right Devin you get you'll get another chance next week I guess <laughs> I 
I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening uh, here on another episode of The Fortress of... Okay. You guys can't hear me?